Welcome to Whips in the Dungeon. Uh, the excitement never ends around here. This only happens maybe once or twice a year. Uh, and in this particular instance, the parcels have come kind of close together. I think last week I got a parcel from uh, Smoky Mountain Whips and we did an unboxing of a match set of bull whips. And today I got a parcel from Sweden from Witchcraft Whips, uh, Johnny Ogren. And we'll open it up and look, but this should be a match set of snake whips because I didn't have a match set of snakes. So I'm using my trusty Kershaw and trying to carefully open this box. So, well, I got one more piece of tape here. All right, now I should be able to get it open. Well, he has it taped very well, but it came all the way from Sweden, so. I would expect it to be well taped. I'll get some tape in the corners. All right, now let's see if we can. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. So we've got typically got some bubble wrap, some padding, and some tissue paper. And inside the tissue paper, we have. Two snake whips. Uh, looks like that's all that's in the box. All right, so two three foot, two matched three foot snakes with oh, what kind of looks like a latigo fall. But let's first see if they're matched in length. Okay, pommels together, down the thong, and keepers are exactly together. All right, very nice. Let's let the falls match. Uh, the falls are exactly the same length. Uh, for now, the crackers are exactly the same length. So let me let you out, get you a close up of these match snakes. And you can see so you did those in saddle tan and whiskey. And he's got some single diamond plaiting up in the handle area. But he also. Uh, alternated between the saddle tin and the whiskey. Uh, the Turk's heads are both done in. Uh, didn't it looks like um, it almost looks like a third color. It's not saddle tin, but it's not as dark as the whiskey. But if you if you look at his chevrons, he. He alternated these chevrons down the length of the thong. Very nicely done, and they 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 match up. They match up perfectly when you put them side by side. Okay. So obviously they were plaited together to create a match set. So let's take a quick look at these and see how they are. One, one test I always run is I close my eyes and I run the length of the thaw and I feel for transitions. There's a little one there. There might be a drop there. Smooth to the end. There. Definitely a drop there. But when I look for that drop, I don't 
I don't see any evidence of it. I just, in the overlay, I just feel it in the belly. So, right there. And right there. Okay. That's not bad. Two small drops in a three foot whip. It's rolled smooth as a baby's butt. There's a drop there. And let's see if we can do them together. Yeah, right there. So the drops are pretty well matched between the whips. This one is there. And the, the other one is maybe a half inch farther down. Okay. All right, let's see how they roll, how they throw. Okay, they should roll out straight. That one rolls out straight. I like them to arc straight against the spine or against the belly in the opposite direction. That arcs straight. Roll straight. Arc straight. I don't know if you can see that. Let's compare the other one. Roll straight on a bow and arrow. Hopefully I'm doing this so you can see it. Arc straight. Arc straight. They're, they're nice light whips. Uh, they're a little stiff, but they just came out of the box. But bow and arrow with a little thumb push and they crack right, crack right out of the box. Bow and arrow with the other one. See if I can do it at Cattleman's Crack Sitting. See if we can get this. Not in an over. All right. They, uh, now it's time to break them in. Very, very nice work. So, um, Witchcraft Whips, Johnny Overin. Uh, I have a bull whip from him. I love the bull whip. Uh, this time around, it was snake whips. I'm not sure if down the road, I'm gonna order a match set of bull whips from him or not, because I already own two match sets of bull whips. I don't know that I need a third set, but I did need a set of snake whips. I did not have a match set of snakes. Now I do, it's just a matter of breaking them in. As these break in, I'll come back and do, uh, do another video and let you see how they've broken in. Uh, my goal for break-in would be to uh, improve the fluidity and the rollout and, uh, and have them be able to crack both with the belly and against the belly. So they almost do that now when I'm throwing single-handed, but to be able to do that two-handed, get get the left hand to uh, to work. That one's nice, very nice. Oh, I'm excited. So now I have to do a lot of practice and a lot of break-in. Uh, extremely nice whip, 16 plat. Um, light shot load, not very heavy, but for a three foot pocket snake, you wouldn't want uh, a real heavy shot load. I wouldn't, uh, you, the goal isn't to wear your arm out. The goal is to have fun throwing the whips in the dungeon. So as always, thanks for watching uh, Whips in the Dungeon.